You're probably here because you tried to start your snowmobile using the electric start and the electric start does not work. Today we're going to talk about how to tell whether the battery is any good, needs to be charged, or needs to be replaced. Stay tuned. All right, so some of the stuff that we're going to cover is specific to late model Articats, but a lot of it is going to be universal. The same thing goes with the battery. I have a lead acid battery in the snowmobile, and we're going to talk about that a little bit. But most of this stuff applies to just about any kind of battery. Okay, before we get too far into this, though, I need to explain something about lead acid batteries specifically. You can see this is a 12-volt battery, and you can see there are six plugs here. Now each one of the plugs represents a cell. So you can think of this as uh, this battery as being made up of six different batteries. Each battery puts out about 2.1 volts. And when they're added together, that makes up 12 volts. Okay, so to get started here, just to kind of summarize, let's say you try to start it and nothing happens. Now in the Elite Model Articat, it's the button right here. So I push the button and nothing happens. And maybe in your case, you have a key start. And so you turn the key and again, nothing happens. Now in this case, uh, I, can, I can hear it click. Listen to this. You hear that? Okay, so that tells me the switch is good. So I know that there's something is happening it might not it's not the right thing but i know that something is happening and that's that the switch is good so the, the switch itself is not bad with the articats uh that's a kind of a known weakness with these switches is that they you can get moisture in them and then they'll go bad um, this happens to be the reverse button as well as the start button and so there again if i can start it if i can pull start it and I can put it in reverse, then I know that the button is good. I know the switch is good. But in this case, I, I can hear a click, so I know that the, the switch itself is good. I want to also make sure that uh, when I'm doing this, that the key is on, which it is, and the kill switch needs to be on. If nothing happens when you with the switch, then, you know, like I said, you want to rule out a problem with the switch. So trace trace the wires, uh, make sure that uh, the wires aren't bad. Um, those are things that you'd want to check. In this snowmobile, in the late model Articats, there's a plug under the the, uh, the hood on the right-hand side that would, um, if you unplug it, that unplugs this entire switch module. So um, if if there was no click, one of the first things I check is to make sure that I didn't inadvertently unplug that and forget to plug it back in. Uh, but in this case, we don't have to worry about that. Again, I can hear a click. So let's move on to the next thing. Another thing that you'd want to check is, can it turn over at all? So let's say you, you turn the key or push the button, however you want to start it, and the engine turns over or there's a noise from underneath the engine. So it sounds like the motor is turning. If, it's, if the motor is turning, then it's not a problem with the electric start. If the, you can hear, uh, let's say grinding noise or some kind of a noise under the hood, but nothing happens, let's say the, the engine, you can clearly hear that the engine is not turning over, then it could be a battery issue. One of the main things to tell, do you have a battery that's potentially too low, needs to be charged? If you hear a solenoid click or you hear a grinding from underneath the, the hood, then you can be, be pretty confident that the battery is just uh, low, that it needs to be charged. So the first thing I would do then is charge it. Now on the Articats, the Articat battery is under the seat right here. And in order to get to that, you have you need a Torx wrench to get the seat off. All right, here's the battery. And uh, you can see that there's a red lead here. That would be the positive lead. And then on the other side of the battery is a negative lead. You really can't see that very well on camera, but it's, it's deep down in here. Now, another thing I forgot to mention is that a good thing to check if something isn't working right and it's electronic, make sure that you check 
to see if the fuse, maybe there's a fuse that's blown. On this snowmobile, the fuses are under the hood, so you'd want to, to uh, pop the, the correct uh, side panel, and then you can access the fuses. The fuses are just a simple automotive style fuse, and it's really easy to tell if you pull the fuse out, it's easy to tell if, they're, if, the, if it's good or bad. So in this case, you know, let's say we've done that and I've got that click. So I know that uh, something is going on underneath here. I just don't know what's going on yet. So I've got my little multimeter. This happens to be a Radio Shack, if anybody remembers Radio Shack. You can get any multimeter, go to an auto parts store or whatever and get an, a multi, anything that, that reads uh, voltage. And what do I have there? I have a really strange voltage. Oh, there, I've got 12.6 volts, 12.6. Uh, that's pretty normal. That's a full charge as far as I'm concerned. Let's say it's, uh, it's reading 11.6 volts, not 12.6. Charger for an hour and then come back. Pull the charger off. Don't measure the voltage with the charger on. So now let's say I, I try to start it and it still doesn't start. Now, is it still reading 12.6 or is it reading something lower? If, if you've charged it for an hour, taken the charger off, measured the voltage, 12.6, tried to start it, and then come back and measure the voltage, and if it's still 12.6, then you've got a good battery, and it's not the battery, okay? but. If you come back and now the voltage is back down to 11.6 or let's say it's 10 volts or something like that, now that's where it's important. In this case, I just, I just went through a situation where the battery, I charged the battery, I checked the voltage, voltage was good, 12.6 volts after I got done charging it. But when I, after I put a load on it, it dropped down to somewhere around 10, between 9 and 10 volts. Why would it do that? Well, remember, there's six chambers in here, six cells. If one of those cells is bad and you put a load on this battery, all of a sudden the voltage from that cell disappears. It's just gone, it reads zero. So now 12.6 minus two volts is 10.6. If the battery reads a full charge right after you charge it, but then after you put a load on it, try to start it, put a load on it, and now it drops down to 10 something, you've got a bad cell. So that's how you tell that you've got a bad battery. The other thing that can happen is that the entire battery can't hold a charge. And what'll happen is you can watch the voltage drop just by holding the, the, uh, the leads on and watching the voltage on your multimeter. If you can see that, you've got a dead battery. That's how you tell if you've got a good battery or bad battery. Good luck, have fun, and I hope I see you on the trail.